So two weeks ago, I said if the video reached 20,000 likes, I will do whatever the top comment there is me to do. So after only two hours, the video reached 10,000 likes, and I think right now it's over 20,000. So I am a man of my word. I will do whatever the top comment there is me to do. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, so the top comment is from Holden McDonald which is weird because the comment below that has way more likes, but that's what I see on my screen. So that is what I will do. To be fair, you never said which setup I should undo my cable management, so I picked one of my many setups and undid that, and I actually don't plan on ever fixing that up, so it worked out. <laughs> But since you guys really suck, and I mean suck at giving dares, I'm gonna have to make my own dare. So if this video reaches 30,000 likes, which I know will never happen, I will do an entire episode of Setup Wars dressed up as Kylo Ren, and I'll even talk as Kylo Ren. What's up guys, it's Ed from Taxorus, and welcome to Setup Wars episode 45, where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. If you guys want to submit your setup, make sure to watch the video linked below. So without wasting any more time, let the setup boards begin. Never pay full price for games ever again guys, G2A offers the cheapest CD keys you can find anywhere. Check them out by clicking on the link below. As always, everyone's gear for their setups will be linked below along with anything I recommend in this episode. So here are your five lucky contestants. We have Archie, Austin, Scott, Enrique, and Jimmy. Congratulations for making it on the show. Starting off the episode is Archie and his interesting dual monitor setup. So if you recognize his PC, it's because he was featured on PC Wars Episode 5, which he ended up winning. It's a super sexy water-cooled build inside the NZXT H440 case. We have a 4670K, overclocked to 4.4, and two R9 290Xs in Crossfire. Definitely a beautiful build, but back to the setup. We have an Acer 34-inch ultra-wide as the main monitor and a 27-inch Asus monitor off to the left side. On the desk, we have the Ducky Shine 3 keyboard, Logitech G700S mouse, and an extra large mouse pad from Ducky as well. We do have a pair of HyperXs just lying around near the PC and some Klish Pro Media 2.1 speakers on the sides. Cable management can definitely be improved by using some Velcro straps near the top to neatly tie all the wires together and a cable box for under your desk to hide that power strip from sight. Obviously a headphone anger for your headphones and perhaps a stand for your smartphone can help clean up the desk a bit. I also noticed your notebook just laying there, so picking up an under desk keyboard drawer can help you keep that out of sight and also in a place where it's easy to reach. I know it's made for keyboards, but you can put other stuff in there as well. I'm not sure how effective that setup is having another display next to an ultra wide, especially since the Acer monitor is curved. If we're up to me, I would try and mount that Asus monitor directly above the Acer one. That way you get to sit directly in front of the curved monitor and have the other one just slightly above it. But these are just my recommendations. It's nice to see you again on the channel. Thank you Archie for entering. Speaking of ultra wide curved monitors, Austin has one as well, but from LG. Also on the desk we have the Corsair Vengeance K70 mechanical gaming keyboard and a Corsair Sabre RGB mouse. Sandwiching the monitors are the Bose Companion 20 speakers and we also have a set of RGB LED strips in the back. The yet set of choice is the Astro A50s neatly resting on its own hanger under the desk. Cable management is pretty good for the most part, but if you want to hide those cables, you can pick up these cable tunnels and run them through it. The PC that's powering the setup has a 4790K and an MSI GTX 970, which can also use some Velcro straps in the back to tidy those wires up. Attaching a Velcro in the back of the remote and hooking it up on the roof of your desk is a really cheap and easy way to get that out of sight as well. Lastly, that USB hub can also be hidden either in the back of the monitor, which might be a little difficult to reach, or under the desk closer to you. In my experience, 3M tape in the form of little squares works the best. Other than those minor tweaks, you have an awesome setup. Thank you, Austin, for entering. Coming in at number three is Scott with yet another ultra-wide monitor. I think I should have called this the ultra-wide edition. So we have the non-curved 34-inch LG monitor hooked up to the Freedom Arm, which is actually the one I'm using for my monitor as well. He didn't list the keyboard and mouse, uh, but the mouse does look like it's from Rocat. 
Uh, we also have a pair of Amica speakers behind the monitor and a pair of AKG Q701 headphones on the Omega wooden headstand. Cable management isn't bad, I mean you did keep all the wires off of the ground and used velcro straps, cable clips and even alternate methods to keep power strips against the roof to try and organize everything so I'll give you a pass. Not to mention that you have two setups, so cable management definitely isn't easy for you considering that you have a bunch of stuff to connect. We have a water cooled PC that's powering the setup inside the Air 540 case from Corsair. It's rocking a 5930K and two GTX 980s and SLI while the other setup is being powered by a 2013 MacBook Pro. There's obviously a lot of stuff going on between these setups, but it looks clean for the most part. Thank you, Scott, for entering. Finally, breaking the ultra-wide monitor streak is Enrique with his triple 21-inch Acer setup. We also have the Razer Black Widow Chroma keyboard and a Death Adder Chroma mouse on top of the Steel Series mouse pad. We have an M2 stand holding up the Xbox controller, which is hooked up to the Belkin 7 port USB hub for charging. Very clever on the placement there. Uh, cable management isn't the best, I do see some loose wires behind the PC which can be hidden inside the Omni mount cable sleeve. I do like that you wrap the cables against the wall with some zip ties, but I would still recommend picking up a wall cable tunnel to keep those hidden. And finally, the PC pushing those pixels has an FX8320 and an R9390. Pretty straightforward setup. Thank you Enrique for entering. Last but not least, we have Jimmy and his first ever Pokemon themed setup. So we have a 23 inch Acer monitor which was custom painted red to match the theme. We also have the Red Dragon Vajira keyboard and Central Forest mouse on top of the Yin Yang Dragons mouse pad. Also on the desk is a pair of Logitech speakers which are also modded red and a pair of Sentai Arches gaming headset hanging from the Sades headset hanger. Cable management is pretty good. I love that you drilled a hole in the middle of the table and routed the keyboard and mouse wires through. I'll also give you a point for that remote placement. One thing I would recommend is to place that power strip in a cable box since it's that close to the ground anyways. There's really no reason to mount it against the wall if it's visible. The PC that's powering the setup has a pretty sweet decal and it's rocking an FX6300 and an ASUS GTX 750Ti. To top off the setup and stay consistent with the theme, we have some figurines, Charizard, Bowser, and Mega Charizard X. By the way, I love that Justice League poster you have up there. Really sweet setup, Jimmy. Thank you for entering. So that's it for this episode of Setup Wars. You guys know what to do. Drop your comments down below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup. As always, the winners will be announced on my Twitter and Instagram accounts on Sunday, so make sure you guys are following me there. That's basically it for the show, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.